hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel today in this video i'll be showing you how you can apply for credit cards in the dd bank so for this the first thing you need to do is open the google chrome app after opening the google chrome app you need to go on the search bar and search for dd bank and then you need to click on the second link it takes you to the home page of the dd bank where you can find different facilities provided by this bank yes dollar student loans savings checkings etc now since you are here to apply for the credit card you need to click on the top left three lines options that is the menu option once you have clicked on the menu option you can see there are different options here like my accounts bank accounts and you need to click on the credit card option once you have clicked on the credit card option you can see that there are many types of credit cards available here now you need to click on the second option that is choose a card once you have clicked on it the bank asks if you want a credit card for your personal use or your business you can click on any one after clicking on the option you need to click on the next after that you need to select which card you want it is it flexible travel rewards cash back dollars no annual fee low interest rate or the us dollar visa after clicking on any one option you need to click on the option next now the bank asks is your annual income more than sixty thousand dollars or hundred thousand household you need to click on yes or no option according to your annual income after that you need to estimate how much you spend on your credit card each month for groceries gas and bill payments after estimating the price you need to click on the next option once you have done this it asks you for all other credit card purchases please estimate how much you spend each month after estimating the value you need to click on the next option and based on your answers the bank will recommend you a credit card and according to the answers that I have given for me the TD cashback visa infinite card much more beneficial and you can see the annual fee the interest purchases and the interest cash advances here now you need to click on the apply now option after clicking on the option it takes you to the page like this where it asks you if you are an existing TD customer or if you are new to TD now you can choose on any one option if you are an existing customer you need to click on the login option and log into your bank account if you are a new TD customer you need to click on the apply online option. after clicking on the apply online option now you need to click on the continue option and there are the eligibility criteria that you need to meet before having this card that is you need to be a permanent resident of Canada to be the is of majority in the province which you reside to confirm you have to have an annual income of at least sixty thousand dollars or an annual household income of at least hundred thousand dollars at td bank they allow you to transact digitally therefore providing a valid email address is mandatory equipment after reading all these eligibility criteria if you meet all these eligibility criteria you need to click on the continue option now you need to select your province to which province you belong to after that you need to see all this information where the annual interest rates are given foreign currency conversion annual fees or the fees and after reading all these informations you can either download it or print it for your personal use now you need to click on the option i agree after that it takes you to the page where you need to give information about yourself you need to provide your first name if you have a middle name then you need to go ahead and type it if you don't have then you need to leave it blank after that you need to provide your last name and you need to select a title for yourself if you are mr miss mx doctor professor etc after clicking on the title you need to provide sin it is an optional so you can leave it blank now you need to provide your data for in the format month day and year after providing these informations you need to click on the option continue now you can see that you need to provide your contact information here the first thing you need to do is provide your phone number and you need to select your phone type is it mobile or landline and then you need to provide your correct email after providing your email address you need to again provide the email address and confirm it after you do this you need to click on the continue option now you need to provide your address after clicking on your address you can see that the street 
address is also given your city is also given now you can provide your unit number it is optional you can provide your unit type it is also an optional method after that now you need to select since when you have lived on that place after selecting the date you need to click on the continue option after clicking on the continue option it takes you to the about my work page where you need to provide your employment status now you need to provide your employer name you need to select the industry you need to select your occupation after selecting your occupation you need to provide your work phone number if you have and you need to select the date since when you got employed to this place now you need to select on the continue option after this you need to select the place where you work after clicking on it you need to click on the continue option now you need to provide your finances you need to provide your gross annual personal income and then you need to provide the other household income now you need to select your residential status after selecting your residential status you need to estimate your following expenses like the mortgage payment monthly property tax monthly gas electricity cost after providing these informations you need to click on the continue option once you have done this the informations that you have provided appears here you can recheck it and edit it if you want to after the editing process is completed after the rechecking process is done you need to click on the continue option you need to choose a credit card limit for yourself after choosing the credit card limit you need to click on the continue option and if you are interested in additional card holders you can select add additional card holder or you can skip this step after that process you will be driven to the application terms and conditions where you need to read all the terms and conditions carefully after reading it you can download or print it and you need to check the option i agree to all above terms and click on the option continue after you click on the continue option you have successfully applied for the credit card in the td bank the bank will reach to you via your email or your phone number and then you will be given your credit card after the verification process is completed. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching our video.